Mike's Daily Podcast. Mike's Daily Podcast. Mike's Daily Podcast. F- F- episode 1230, 1230, and the seventh show I've done in a row on Mike's Daily Podcast. I think I'm going to take a break, if you don't mind. I think after today, I'll take a day off. It's Mike Matthews, broadcasting from Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley, Mont. Today, Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, the brewmaster. Mike's Daily Podcast. We will get to the interesting news segment that we call the Wow That's Wild Files. Mike's Daily Podcast. And I have to sing to you a song about what woke me up today. It was not pleasant, really. In any way, well, there was the alarm clock, which is my iPhone, which plays some kind of song. But then when I walked towards the door, I looked down and saw something was wrong. For you see, my dog, Basil the Boxer. Mike's Daily Podcast. He sleeps in the room with me. And, well, he left a little present. Mike's That came out of... The front end. Podcast. Not the back end. Yeah. But my dog and I, we were walking yesterday, and he, when I wasn't looking, ate some cow stuff. And, well, that is, like, not good for dogs. It's not good for people. It's not good for cows. That's why they get rid of it. So my dog had a rather interesting left a little present for me it's Christmas it's Christmas time so of course it's gonna leave me a present thank you Basil it's so nice so I cleaned it up but I mean I had to get a bucket and you know scoop it into the it was bad I had to throw out a bunch of stuff clean the floor and had to get this all done and then come to work at four in the morning, so it's how I am feeling today. But it is Friday on the upside, and I know I'm gonna take a day off from this show, even though I miss you. Did I talk about this week the bizarre thing that used to? Ha- yeah, I think I did. The Subway Sandwiches store that I used to work near when I lived in Alabama, and I just realized to yesterday, to yesterday, that I have lived. Wait, what? Someone just walked in. I moved to Alabama uh, 10 years ago, a decade ago. Next year, it'll be a decade ago. But yeah, there was this cafe anyway. Well, we're at cafe anyway. And this place down the street from me. Anyway. Anyway. Was called Subway. Anyway. No Subway. And you would go in and it reeked of cigarette smoke and sandwiches. Which is not a good combination. And that was my experience in Alabama. The end. Look who walked in. Hi, Mac. It's pretty to the rodeo queen. How y'all doing? It's a disgruntled fiddle player, tell you what. What? Sounds like you've had an eventful day, Mike. You know, when you're working on a farm, you see that stuff all day long. It's this... <laughs> kind of part of the scenery. If you catch my drift, tell you what. What? Someone else walked in. Hello, Mike. I make the root beer. I'm the brewmaster. Oh, boy. Have some delicious root beer. No, you try some. I never drink my own root beer. No, go ahead. Drink your root beer today. All right. Glug, glug, glug. Oh, I feel kind of strange at the moment. And why, hello, Mike Matthews. Oh my god, the brewmaster has become clear, reticent. That's right, Mike Matthews. I know what is going on now. I have been in a state of brewmastertude over the past several years. But I imagine since it's 2016 that Hillary Clinton is now our president. Uh. But I just want to set the record straight. Uh. Sh- our president? Hillary Clinton is our president? Wrong. What? Wrong. Who's our president? Um, I will tell you at the time. I'll keep you in suspense. Oh my God, that is Donald Trump. You cannot be serious. 
Yeah, I know. He is our president now. Wow. That's frightening. I'm going to drink this root beer and hope I go back into my state of non reticence. Glug, glug, glug. Glug. Hi, Mike. I make the root beer. I'm the brewmaster. Oh, boy. End scene. Thank you. Yes. What a shock. I work with a guy. I worked with a guy. Actually, I hardly ever worked with him. But he had trained at the radio station I worked for. Young guy. He worked on the weekend at my work for a couple of times. And all of a sudden he got hired by Cumulus, whom I, I worked for in Alabama. And they've got a big, huge conglomerate of radio stations in the Bay Area. He got a job with uh, uh, the morning show to produce the morning show. And he had only worked... I, I Unless he had other experience other than the radio station I worked for, I don't think he had much other experience except for his college station. So suddenly he's in the big time. He's in the big league. San Francisco top five market. And from what I heard, he didn't do such a good job at the job that I work for. So it's kind of interesting how Cumulus hires people. And here's today's podcast picture. Well, they hired me once upon a time, but did they really do a good background check? What was on this guy's resume that he completely snowed them? I don't know, but that happens a lot in this business, and I don't like it. The podcast picture today, speaking of San Francisco, is over at the Pier 39, and the flags are blowing, and there's a Christmas tree there because we're keeping with our Christmas meme, our Christmas tree meme, Christmas theme, and I hope you like it. It's at mikesdailypodcast.com. All right, I've got so much to do today, and I know you do too. So why don't we just get right to the segment called The Wow That's Wild Files. The Wow That's Wild Files. It's pretty interesting. Well, yes, it is the truth that Hillary is not our president, although she won the popular vote. But yours for only 99 cents, the rare recalled Newsweek edition commemorating Hillary Clinton's election as president, as NBC News and many other news organizations reported after Donald Trump was actually elected on November 8th, Newsweek published 125,000 copies of a $10.99 commemorative magazine with Clinton's picture on the cover and the headline, Madam President. And I'm looking at the cover now, it says, Hillary Clinton's historic journey to the White House Aw, that's how life is in that alternative world that somehow we all, that alternate dimension that we somehow all got kicked out of. Maybe because we drank the brewmaster's root beer. No, we didn't drink his root beer. I don't know. Somehow we're stuck here. But these copies were quickly recalled, but hundreds of copies are still being offered for sale in online markets for prices as low as 99 cents to as high as $9,995. NBC News found 387 offers for the recalled issue Wednesday evening just on eBay. Many of them offered multiple copies for sale, and that's a problem because the edition's publisher says only 17 copies were actually sold before all the rest were recalled, calling into question the authenticity of many of those offers. Newsweek, it turns out, didn't publish the commemorative edition that was done by Topics Media Lab, a New York specialty publisher that produces one-off special editions for many companies, media companies, including CBS, Disney, Marvel Comics, and World Wrestling Entertainment, in addition to Newsweek. Now, the only difference between the Newsweek that did really, in fact, get published versus the Hillary one, of course, it says President Trump instead of Madam President. Newsweek itself distanced itself from the Madam President edition when news of it emerged even before Election Day, saying on Twitter that commemorative uh, uh, covers were produced for both Clinton and Trump. And Newsweek referred all inquiries to Topics Media. Now, President, it, so it says Donald Trump's historic journey to the White House. 
And we go outside a cafe anyway where we bring you Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcaster Valley, Mont. I am not happy with the sun going down two hours earlier. Ugh. It's just... Well, on my walk yesterday, I thought I'd left early enough. And by the end of the walk, it was dark. And my dog had eaten cow stuff. And then we were listening to a podcast on the way home. Love listening to podcasts. It was, I think her name's Carrie Miller, and she's on MPR, not NPR, but M is in Mary PR, because it's for Minnesota Public Radio, and that's the big conglomerate that Garrison Keeler owns, and that all got financed by his Prairie Home Companion show. Marketplace comes from that, that if you ever listen to that money show on public radio stations, it's called uh, Marketplace, Kai Rizdal. I... I got tired of that show because I used to listen to it when we were having our big recession, our big economic downturn, and every day he just had more and more bad news, and it just made, it stressed me out. I had to stop listening, and I haven't gone back, so maybe it's gotten better, but she, Carrie Miller was talking to this guy. He's been on a lot of uh, radio shows, talk shows, and he is totally anti-legalization of marijuana of the marijuana and he he, what he does is he quotes a lot of statistics about what's going on in Colorado so if anybody sneezes that's logged and that becomes a statistic in Colorado and if you are anti legalization of marijuana even though it has been legalized you use Colorado to try and plead your case and you know you try and say look Colorado's going to hell in a handbasket look there's a smoldering crater where Colorado used to be that's all because of pot the legalization of pot and he just threw around these numbers that were just so annoying and finally the host Carrie Miller said look I think this guy's name was Peter he said Peter people don't lecture on my show you come on the show you answer questions but you don't lecture us because he was going on with these statistics he's like Thanks for having me on the show, Carrie. Blah, 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 blah. And pop makes you do this, and pop makes you do that, and pop makes you crash your car into the side of a uh, place where they pet baby heart seals. That's a place, there's a place where you can pet them, in my mind. So that was fascinating. That's what, look her up. She's got, she's got a good show. Of course, I love Warren Olney on KCRW. That's out of Santa Monica College. And that's distributed by PRI, not MPR or NPR. There's PRI and there's PRX. If you're listening to a show on any public radio station, they're coming from, generally coming from one of those areas. Sometimes they're locally made. This show is locally made if you're in the Bay Area. If you're not, well, thanks for joining us here in the Bay Area and Podcaster Valley, where hopefully the meth labs aren't going to... There's so many meth labs, apparently. That's the other thing I learned. I was talking about the guy uh, that I know who's a mechanic in Podcaster Valley, and, and we were discussing that horrible homicide that happened on Monday. And he goes, oh, yeah, there's a lot of meth labs now in Castro Valley. And I'm like, what? No. So to get it out of my mind, I think tonight I will go to the Christmas tree lighting ceremony in Podcaster Valley. And don't forget, we do have the Yuletide Personalized MP3 for the contest. Yuletide Personalized MP3 for the contest. That was hot. Yes, send me an email at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com or comment on any of the places you can find us on social media. The link's there at mikesdailypodcast.com. And if we read yours on the podcast, you will win a special MP3 from all of the Cafe Anyway characters wishing you a happy, happy, happy holidays. Also go to mikesdailypodcast.com. Click on that Amazon link that you find now on the right side of the page and buy whatever it is you're going to buy on Amazon that helps us out. There's also the PayPal if you'd like to donate and we'll send you a special personalized MP3 from all the Cafe Anyway characters wishing you a hello or wishing you luck or wishing and as you stand by wishing well. Well, wish I guess will be the name of the show today. Uh, All that and past podcast pictures at mikesdailypodcast.com 
We will do another show soon, hopefully. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.